Welcome to Mariposa Will and Mills Needle Felting Basics and Kit Instruction. For those of you new to felting and deciding to try a new craft, let me give you a small intro. Basically, felting is causing wool fibers to intermingle and knot together. This can be accomplished in a couple ways. Wet felting is one way, hot water, a little soap, and a lot of friction. The other way is needle felting, with which I will demonstrate later on in the video. Felting needles have barbs and uh, they grab onto other fibers, the wool fibers, as it's poked into the wool, causing this intermingling of felting. It always is best to use a surface such as a foam or a rice pad um, because the needles are very sharp. This kit provides all needed supplies to start this new fun, easy hobby. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. Choosing the slate colored mat. So I'm just gonna lay out the colors from my palette before I start to needle felt them down, I'm just going to give myself an idea of where I want my colors to appear. Just anchoring them down, just very gently, not making a real big commitment, because if I don't like how they are right now, I can just pull them up. So poking the fibers down into the mat, not all the way down into the styrofoam. Because if you poke it down too far, then you're losing your fiber. And you want to use all the color that you have. Just roughly blocking in the colors. Once you've blocked in the colors, just just anchor them down. At the stage, it will be still. A little fluffy and that may be the how you would like it to be at the end but if you want it to be firmer and completely flat then you need more felting more poking that's up to you you decide what um, effect you want
as you noticed, I used uh, the brown roving and then I divided it in half. The green I'm also just blocking in. So there's a variety of colors that can be used. to give the variation of the trees. So if you notice in the example, it, it, it is just an impressionistic painting. So there's not a lot of detail. You can add more detail if you'd like. I will stick closely to what the painting is. As you're doing a landscape, it's important to not lose where you want your horizon line to appear. So there, there can be a foreground as well as a background. So if you see that I am taking bits of, of wool, giving a little bit of attention anchoring it down and then giving a little bit of tension if I want to create a straighter line. Anchoring it, giving a little bit of tension. And that way it makes the wool uh, able to felt in a more slender, slender way. I just find more control that way. So you can roll the end, you want it really pointed, really thin.
I'm adding, I'm layering more white. So I thought maybe the the sky needed to be a little bit lighter. That's up to you. It's your take artistic liberty. It's your painting. Thanks for watching Mariposa Wool and Mill Felting Basics Kit Instruction video. So continue felting and to replenish your felting needs, come visit us at the farm market or online at the link on your screen. Stay tuned for more felting fun.